This is a this is a sport boat. This is a water sport boat, and people take their water sports very seriously. Um, and some of the most exciting engineering that I think we actually did on this vehicle was basically try to talk to a lot of these surfers. Um, so surfing behind a boat is turning into the most popular sport uh, in the U.S. You go about ten miles an hour, which is the absolute worst power regime for a boat because you're like you're not on plane, you're transitioning. Um, you want to load a ton of weight onto the boat, which is also horrible for power, but you do this. So you throw a huge curling wave behind the boat that you can surf. And so we, we spent a lot of engineering effort talking to surfers, understanding what they care about in terms of the height, the length, uh, something called the pocket that you sit in, how much push the wave has as it pushes you behind the boat and tried to turn all of that into engineering first principles. Uh, what yaw pitch roll do we want out of the vehicle? What CG placement do we want? And then we did a lot of testing to try and derive the lowest possible power consumption to deliver the wave that people are looking for. Um, and so really what we're going to be able to offer is, hey, I want my wave bigger, and you push up on the touchscreen. I want it longer. You push on the touchscreen, and it actuates tabs in the back of the boat. It moves ballast around between water tanks in the boat in order to change the CG to, to give you that wave at the lowest possible power level. Um, and that's something we're, we're quite proud of. So you're basically throwing a wake out there that's more comparable to like a 40 foot sea ray with a 16 foot, you know, width on it. That's, you know, motoring down the, the water. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what, that's why the ballast tanks are great because we can fill them up and you can really weigh this boat down to, I mean, about 10,000 pounds uh, in order to throw a big wave, but then you can drain them so you can get up trailering or you can go punch high speed again and, and not waste a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah. And nice thing about that weight too, is like, you know, if you have, you know, two, three foot waves out there, you're probably just plowing right through them and you barely even oh, yeah. feel them. Yeah. Even with just, even if the ballast tanks are empty, this boat handles incredibly well. We have this massive battery pack that we can sink down, um, and it it really handles really well through the waves, even with uh, with no no ballast on board. Yeah, with mine, uh, I think I had like six inches of my hull in the water at any given time, <laughs> if that. So, yeah, this, you know, this I basically was getting up on top. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know I was out running one time and buddy of mine had his out there he's like you're out of the water more than you're in the water but it's still <laughs> running smooth you just you know yeah. catching the tops of all all the yeah. waves yeah, yeah. We, we also have um electric steering a steer by wire um which is really nice for for marine we can offer different user profiles um you know tighter sports steering looser steering um but it it really means that you can you can crank the boat um because you're not the one trying, you know, and a lot of the mechanical systems that other gas boats have, like it's a rack and pinion. You're the one turning the rudder. Uh, this is more like a power steering, which is kind of a newer thing uh, in Marine. And so you can really crank this boat and it's a lot of fun to drive. Yeah. So with that, I mean, you could get some really tight turns with it, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. uh, do you have like a stability control that if somebody's cranking it too far that you, you don't let it go that far? Um, yeah, we have a couple limits on, uh, like angular rate, right. uh, like rudder angular rate of change, depending upon like speed of the vehicle, mm -hmm. and those types of things. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it sounds like you got a lot of sophistication built into it. So we have certainly tried, uh, we, yeah. we take our boats out a lot, uh, and just are constantly iterating. That's probably the best part of your job, isn't it? Uh, it is a lot of fun, especially here in Southern California. Uh, we, we take the boats out a lot and, and enjoy it. Yep. I'm jealous. <laughs>